She is known for her powerful delivery of comical and risque songs, making her one of the most popular entertainers in the US during the first half of the 20th century. She is recognized for being an American singer, comedian, actress, and radio personality. Her name is Sophie Tucker. In the world of entertainment, one name stands out as a true trailblazer, Sophie Tucker, the last of the Red Hot Mamas. Born in Russia in 1887, Sophie's family immigrated to the United States when she was just a little girl. Growing up in Hartford, Connecticut, Sophie discovered her love for performing at a young age. From humble beginnings, Sophie Tucker's career skyrocketed to new heights. She began performing in vaudeville shows, captivating audiences with her powerful voice and humorous songs. With her unique style and larger-than-life personality, Sophie quickly became a household name. Her performances were filled with energy and charisma, and her risque songs pushed the boundaries of what was considered acceptable at the time. Sophie's impact on the entertainment industry was undeniable. She was one of the first artists to embrace a more modern, jazz-inspired style of singing, paving the way for future generations of performers. She toured extensively throughout the United States and Europe, captivating audiences with her unforgettable performances. Sophie's legacy as a pioneering entertainer continues to inspire and influence artists to this day. Sophie Tucker, born Sophia, Sonia, Kalish, came into this world in 1886 in Tolchin, Russian Empire. Her Jewish family later immigrated to the United States, settling in Boston. To avoid any potential consequences for her father's desertion from the Imperial Russian Army, the family changed their surname to Abuza. Life in Boston's North End was challenging, but Sophie found solace in her parents' restaurant, where she would entertain the patrons with her powerful voice. Even at a young age, Sophie's talent for singing shone brightly. Amidst taking orders and serving customers, she would stand by the door, pouring her heart into each song. The emotional impact she created was so profound that there wasn't a dry eye in the restaurant by the end of her performance. The humble beginnings of her musical journey were born in that narrow space between tables and onions. At the age of 17, Sophie eloped with Louis Tuck, a beer cart driver, and took on his last name as her own. However, upon her return home, her parents arranged a traditional Orthodox wedding for the couple. In 1905, Sophie gave birth to their son, Albert. Unfortunately, their relationship faced challenges, and they separated shortly after Albert's birth. Sophie made the difficult decision to leave her baby in the care of her family while she ventured to New York City, pursuing her dreams. In the bustling streets of New York City, Sophie Tucker's star began to rise. She embraced the vibrant music scene, performing in vaudeville shows and gaining recognition for her captivating voice. Sophie's talent and determination propelled her forward, and she quickly became a crowd favorite. Her unique ability to connect with audiences through her heartfelt performances set her apart from the rest. Sophie Tucker's early life was a testament to her resilience and passion for music. From her humble beginnings in her parents' restaurant in Boston to the stages of New York City, she defied the odds and carved a path for herself in the entertainment industry. Her journey was just beginning, and the world would soon come to know and love the iconic Sophie Tucker. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.